Chase, and I'm sitting here in the beautiful family wash here in East Nashville, Tennessee, talking to my good friend Thad Cockrell. Thad, pay attention. <laughs> We're going to be talking about life and love and songs and music and all kinds of things. Let me shake your hand. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Thad? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Great. I'm wondering about your process because one time I was over at your house and we were just noodling on some stuff and you were looking for ideas and you pull out books of poetry and you pull out scraps of paper and you pull out um, recordings and you've got all this stuff going on at once. Is that is that the pro process? Do you cobble things together from all over the place? Sometimes. Sometimes I do um, and sometimes, uh, you know, I, f I feel like it was given to me in a shotgun blast and um, like uh, when I'm asked about... Um, about uh, different ways that I write music. I, it really, all different forms. Sometimes I'll have a melody, no words. Sometimes I'll have words, no melody. Sometimes it all comes at the same time. Um, I write sleeping. I, you know, it's really <laughs> a, awake, obviously, you know. Um, so uh, I don't think I'm, I would necessarily consider myself to be prolific, though. Okay, but I'm going to differ on that one. <laughs> at least you write 10 times as much as I do. I mean, I'm always up for writing songs, you know. Um, like growing up, I grew up um, in basically like, uh, you know, a very kind of, it was north of Tampa, Florida. And, um, you know, I, I fished more than anything <laughs> growing up. And uh, Deep sea fishing? No, 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 bass fishing. Um, we, I lived on a lake and my friends knew that they can call or come over any time of the day night or day and I would I would drop everything to go fishing with them you know <laughs> excellent and it's it's really the same thing with songwriting um, I, I love songs so much um, you know anytime you've been here for two years now from North Carolina and so you're here in Nashville where the co-write is just part of the landscape have you done that have you like scheduled the the songwriting thing down <laughs> on music row 10 a.m. you know bring your guitar and a cup of coffee no <laughs> I, I, I have done some co-writing. Um, I'm all about the co-write, man. I, I believe I believe in the power of the co-write. Um, I think, you know, any anybody that would deny that, I could say, okay, show me your favorite songs, and chances are 75% of them were co-written. Well, do you think that, I, I hear this a lot, that people who, who don't co-write are afraid that somehow they lose their soul somewhere in it, that it just becomes craft, that it's just boilerplate, you know, filling in the blanks to try to get a hit single or something. Uh, well, I don't, I just disagree, I, I just disagree with that whole, I think every song's a co-write, whether you admit it or not. Because <laughs> you're always taking someone else's ideas. Right. Yeah, well, you that's know? true. I, so, so really to me it becomes like this pride thing. Like if I sit down and I write a song by myself, that's cool, um, and I love that, but chances are, it was inspired from a conversation, a book I read, a song I heard. It was inspired by something. It was it was co-written. You've been working on a new record. What's that all about? Well, I'm not working on a, a necessarily on a new record. I've, I've got my new record uh, finished. It's written, and um, I'm just trying to find out uh, my first option uh, for um, producer. Is T Bone Burnett, and since I've never met him or has he's not heard my music, uh, you know, it's not. Gonna, it's <laughs> how not how do you make happen. that happen? Chase him to ground. I don't know. Just start calling. But uh, T Bone. Anyways, um, you know, I, I think right now I'm just lo logistically trying to figure out uh, where and. Um, and getting money and stuff like that together for the record. Uh, money and record labels and uh, all that stuff. Vodka? <laughs> Julia. <laughs> Julia, I asked for water, but I'm not vodka. I'll take it, though. How would you describe the record? Is it going to be country? Is it going to be folk? Is it going to be rock and roll? You know, um, I bet, in, in my mind, it's country the way I hear it. Yeah, I think if you were to distill the songs down to what they are, like, they would be, you know, they're country songs, but hopefully, like sonically and some other things, it'll they'll bring something else to to the table. But emotionally, they'll still be country songs. And I think that's what country music is, really, when it comes down to it. It's it's more of an emotion. You were on the road with Caitlin Carey last year. You guys made a great record together, Begonias. Yeah. And that was a collaborative thing. Most of those were like co-written, right? You guys wrote them all together. Uh huh. We did. You guys sound so good together. Uh, it was a fun record to make. <laughs> uh, you know, it was incredibly easy. Uh, we just went in, and like my template for it was like a Nashville skyline, blonde on blonde. Like you could tell that they 
you know, all those players just went in, had those songs, and, you know, you just, you push record, and what you have is what you have. And You like to record live. That's the only way I've ever recorded. So yeah, All the tracks? All the tracks. Even your vocals? Um, I think there might have been a couple overdubs on, on, uh, on Begonias, just because of the, the situation of, of me playing guitar, yeah. and then, you know, um, Caitlin was in a different room because yeah. she was playing, you know, something else. Uh, but, uh, but outside of that, yeah, I've always, it, everything's been live vocal. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to play a song? Yeah, let's do. Let's play a song. Written by Vern Gosden. I'm going to back up a little bit. Dim lights, thick smoke, and loud, loud music is the only kind of life you'll ever understand. Dim lights, thick smoke. Well, they mean nothing to you. A husband with love, heart that's so true. You'd rather have a drink with the first guy you see. Cockerel. Voila. Vern Gaston. I love me some Vern. <laughs> I love me some Vern. <laughs> I mean, first of all, it's the perfect name. And to follow it up with Gosden is right. so, yeah. Cool, are we done? <laughs> sure. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> 